Let's talk about time management. It's that one thing on our New Year resolution list that stays in the list. Obviously, managing time is an impossible task, isn't it? Probably, but, like Audrey said, nothing is impossible, the word itself says I'm possible. So, let's try and take some action towards time management, just making New Year resolutions won't help. I'm sure some of you might have seen videos like why I wake up at 5am or my productive day in my life videos. Lots of respect to their insane work ethic and they're really inspiring but for most of us out there, it's not easy to apply because let's be honest they're really difficult to apply practically. Starting it out, having a proper plan of what needs to be done will help a lot in clarifying your workflow. Number 1. Create yourself a proper schedule. Planning out a schedule for yourself might seem like a daunting task, but trust me it provides you a ton of data about your work ethics and even a little bit about how you yourself actually deal with your work. Yes, it's gonna be hard holding yourself together in initial days because there will be days where you won't be able to do things as planned. It's very normal, just keep trying. Say, one day, you were only able to finish one thing as planned, it's fine, try next day to do at least two things as planned. Surely over time, it becomes natural to follow the schedule. Speaking of which, it brings me on to the next point. Number 2. Dividing your workload. Most of us as humans have a tendency to do things at the last minute. Time waits for no one, but it rewards those who honour it. Trying to finish your work the day before the deadline is mostly going to reduce the possibility of a high-quality work, whether it's your assignment or projects. Break down your work for the project into smaller and manageable chunks throughout the week. You will notice a significant progress in your workflow and an improvement in your concentration level over time. This will also help reduce stress, cause when you had done the whole thing in a single night before, just imagine how stress-free it is to do a fraction of the same project a day. This makes your workflow a lot more organized and stress-free. Cleanliness is a necessity to maintain a sense of hygiene and health. Cleanliness not only applies to your home, your room and yourself, but also your work routine. Which brings us to number three, cleaning up your distractions. Because of this digital world we live in today, we are constantly surrounded by these screens of apps having more than enough content to distract you away from work. We all have been there, it's very much normal. I usually turn on airplane mode or silent my phone off and keep it out of sight to avoid distractions. Many social media apps out there have their own inbuilt feature where you will be able to monitor the amount of time you have spent on the app. Keep a track of that and reduce the time you spend on the app over time. Using the inbuilt reminder of the app pretty much works all the time. This reduces the time you wasted on unwanted scrolling and trust me that's going to be a big difference. Making or doing something right and good is way more important than how many work you were able to accomplish on a single day, even if it wasn't at great quality. Set your priorities straight. Which brings us to number four. Quality time for your priorities. In life, we have important people, important things, important events and tasks. It's important to us doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually important in this world. Importance of something rises or falls based on its demand just like in markets, if you think about it. We humans have our own specific needs, goals and priorities, it's where we are heading towards. So, it's important we do the same with time schedule too, knowing what your next main goal, the next thing you can't skip or even the next thing you don't want to miss. This helps a lot in setting your priorities while managing your time. You knowing what you need, or what you want, while understanding you yourself, sets a clear picture of not only your priorities in the time schedule but your life too. If you feel like slacking, give yourself a visual reminder, write them down on a sticky note and paste it on a place where you see often, or you can even set reminders on your phone. Give yourself ample breaks, just to relax and freshen a little bit. It's usually the 45-minute mark where our brain starts to drain, so you plan your tasks accordingly, split your tasks into steps if you can, 
that makes it a lot more simpler to work on. You can change your break periods according to personal preference, just be mindful of it. Being honest to yourself and self-discipline will play the key role in your time management progress. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I wish you a very happy day wherever you are. Hopefully, see you in the next video.